Update, my wife has been Baker acted. She did not hurt herself, just said something concerning in public. I got a call from the hospital this morning asking me to head over to some family therapy. Apparently, she finally wanted to talk. I'll be honest, I'm pretty pissed at the reason why she's been so hateful towards my cats. It's absolutely insane. It's nothing that anyone has suggested. She's not cheating. She's not sick physically or mentally. She's not bored of the relationship or looking for an out. According to her, one of the cats stepped on her laptop and ruined a story she was writing. She's hated both cats ever since. I mean, that sucks, but it's not worth trying to emotionally blackmail me into getting rid of them. I asked her why she didn't just tell me the truth and why she'd been lying and refused to talk about it when I asked. Her answer was, because you wouldn't have gotten rid of them otherwise, and explained that when she saw I wasn't willing to abandon them for her, she took offense and made it a goal to have me pick her over them sickening don't know why she actually admitted to it all the woman with us asked me how i felt about all of it and i just told the truth i told her it was a nice run but i'm probably going to want a divorce i was asked why and i told them i see a new hateful malicious side of her that i want nothing to do with she was so set on getting rid of the cats over a fan fiction being ruined that she manipulated her husband my wife started shouting at me that i betrayed her and that i'm a scum for choosing animals over her at least cats don't give ultimatums like she gave it sucks that she's been Baker acted and all, I guess, but it's for the best right now. She'll have time to process it in a safe environment and hopefully come to terms with it. Bad husband, I know. I'm almost sure I'm going for divorce. I'm very worried about having her in the same house as my cats. I want my cats safe and I don't want to worry about them being harmed or disappearing. Screw that. I will guess I'll do what almost all of you suggested. Keep the cats, rehome the wife. Not how I wanted it to end, but life isn't always nice. Am I the asshole for refusing to return the $600 gift I bought my mom for Christmas? To start, I want to mention that unlike my wife, I have a very good relationship with my mom. And because my siblings can always afford pricey gifts for my mom, this year I decided to gift her something nice and expensive for once on Christmas. Though I'm currently unemployed, but I worked for the past few months and my wife and I have a joint account. I already know this is gonna go down you taking money from the joint account to buy your mom a gift that you cannot afford okay the problem began when my wife found out that i purchased a 600 hundred dollar necklace for my mom to gift her on christmas using our joint account she went off on me saying i should have told her and i shouldn't have taken the money from our joint account that she uses to pay the bills and rent especially now that we're struggling dumbass like what i asked why should i tell her since it's for both of us but she reminded me that despite that being true one i no longer work and two 600 is a lot and i should have consulted her but the reasons i didn't are one i feel that it's my money too and i can make purchases using a joint account and two i know if i told my wife she refused to let me buy the gift solely because she hates my mom she yelled at me saying that it is her hard-earned money I threw away and needed to return the necklace, but I refused because mom already knows about it. She responded that this is no longer our joint account since I no longer earn money and that if I want to give mom expensive items, the need to earn money myself. She insisted I return it, but I said no and it escalated to me calling her bitter and controlling after she pointed out I never got her anything in this price range. She's insisting I return it and at least get a cheaper one, but I'm done being the one with the least expensive slash valuable gifts to gift in the family. She's making this her hill to die on. So, am I the asshole? Yes, you dumb piece of shit. What is wrong with you? This looks like he has a problem with himself because everyone else can afford getting their mom nice gifts and he feels like he's at the bottom of the totem pole because he can't do that. That sounds like a you problem. Go get a job. You think I would want a gift from someone who doesn't have a job and I see like, oh shit, my son is jobless and he bought me a $600 necklace. I don't want that. Go pay your bills. You have a wife, you have family. As a mom would not want her kid to spend that kind of money that they don't have. Men are fucking stupid sometimes. Asshole. Asshole, asshole, asshole. Hey, you guys. As you know, I do a lot of storytelling here on TikTok. And because of that, I get so many people trying to reach out to me in attempt for me to read their stories and put it out on my platform to get my opinion along with others. I receive an overwhelming response daily. So unfortunately, I'm unable to respond to each and every one of you. Honestly, it makes me really sad that so many of you trust me to reach out and share your experiences and I'm not even able to read them or even respond to them. And because of that, I've decided to come up with a solution. I've partnered up with Discord to bring you guys my server, Love Lola. On my server, you guys can either individually message me and share your experiences and that way I can go through your stories one by one and talk to you directly. Or if you're comfortable, you can share your story in the community hub where I and all the others in the server can read and give our opinions, all while staying anonymous. On my server, I'll be able to connect with you guys in a way other platforms can't. You'll be able to share your stories either publicly or privately, send me stories that you guys find that you think might be interesting to tell, or you can hang out and just help give advice to others. Look out for my stage event where you guys will be voting on what story I should tell next. Click the link in my bio today and get sharing. Am I wrong for not wanting my sister-in-law there when I have my gender reveal? I, 32 female, and my husband, 32 male, are about to announce the gender of our first baby. 
We live in another state from our families because my husband is in school. We've had two previous pregnancies that resulted in miscarriages. Both of our parents were there through the pain and sorrow. We thought it would be nice to let our parents know the gender first because they were there for us feeling what we felt. My sister-in-law called us a few days ago to find out what we were having. We explained to her that we weren't going to tell her until we told our parents first, but that we would tell her the very next day. She said okay and left it at that. We told each set of parents that we were sending a package that will contain the results. We explained we wanted to share with them first before we told everyone else. Once sister-in-law found out about the package, she asked my mother-in-law if she could be there when they opened it. Mother-in-law said it was okay for her to be there instead of asking us first if it was okay. I tracked the package and told them when it would arrive. My husband sent a calendar invite to his parents only. Today, talking to my mother-in-law, she mentioned that sister-in-law will be there as well. I mentioned to them that we would feel awkward because the package contains gifts just for them and that our intentions were for them to find out first only. My mother-in-law told me I would need to explain to my sister-in-law that she cannot be there because we are trying to make it more personal for the parents and to avoid making my sister-in-law feel excluded from finding out. I texted her and explained that we are excited for her to find out what we are having but we wanted to share the moment with the parents first. I explained that we would give her a call the very next day to share the news. Sister-in-law lost it. She called her mom and told her that we are excluding her and that we are not thinking about her at all. I explained the situation to my husband, telling him it wasn't my intention to exclude anyone, but when we planned it, we thought it was important for the parents to know first. My husband called his mom the very next day and explained the same thing I did. He told them that we wanted to share with them first and we had planned to call sister-in-law the very next day. Sister-in-law tried to call me, but my husband decided to answer instead. She told us that when she had her baby reveal, she invited everyone and we should do the same. My husband told her she chose to do it that way and we are choosing it to do it our way. She told my husband she understood, but she didn't understand why she couldn't be there. Then you don't understand. Sister-in-law told him that she was upset and said some other mean stuff as well and hung up on us. My husband and I feel like our gender reveal to my in-laws has been ruined by the drama. So are we wrong for wanting to share with our parents first? Hey you guys, this story was sent directly to me by one of you on my Discord server. After 18 years of marriage, I just found out that my children are not mine. My wife, Kelly, and I have known each other for over 20 years and I have been married to her for 18. We have 17-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. And I found out that they aren't mine two days ago. My kids got those ancestry tests for the family and we found out that I am not their father. Kelly and I met each other as coworkers at a job right out of college. We both were very ambitious, so after working for a couple of years, we decided to start our own business. We fell in love and a year after starting our business, we got married. A couple of months into our marriage, we had a massive fight over the direction we wanted to take our business in and I left our home. She came to me a couple of weeks later and we compromised. We've been inseparable ever since. Kelly got pregnant around that time. We've been through thick and thin. Our business has been through several hardships, but we weathered them together. We were always there for each other. We could always depend on one another, and I loved her so much. She was a part of me, and I couldn't imagine a life without her. I trusted her absolutely until this happened. Kelly has been crying and apologizing constantly. She told me that during the time we had that fight at the start of our marriage, she got drunk one night and slept with a random guy, and that she has not cheated on me since. The betrayal has left me disoriented. I told Kelly I needed some time to process this, and I'm currently staying at a hotel. I don't know what I'm even doing anymore. The last two days have been a blur. I feel like a zombie, completely unable to feel or process anything. I don't intend to abandon my kids. I might not be their father, but I'm still their dad, and I love them dearly. My thoughts are a mess, so I'm writing this down to help me process. Kelly has always been a great wife and an excellent business partner. I don't know if I'll be able to look at her the same again or if I'll be the same person. I don't know how to move forward or if I even can. Am I wrong for not accepting my sister's relationship with my ex despite her having cancer as a teenager? My 25 female father married my stepsister's 23 female's mom when I was 4 and she was 3. We've lived together for most of our lives and our family. She and I were extremely close. She developed cancer when she was 14 and was sick for about 2 years. During that time, my parents became understandably overprotective. They also asked a lot of me. I quit my extracurricular so that I could get a job, the money went towards her medical bills, and so I could drive her to appointments. I didn't go to dances, and any fun activities I did needed to include her. I did almost all of this willingly, the exception being having to quit my high school volleyball team. I did throw a bit of a tantrum about that, but was swiftly punished. And I think having one emotional breakdown was pretty chill given the circumstances. Anyhow, I go to college and meet my ex, we'll call him Ben, when I was a junior. We fall in love, blah blah blah. He and I move in together when we graduate, so we've been living together for about three years. We were serious until July when I walked into my bedroom and saw him sleeping with my sister. <gasps> I broke it off, tears were shed, he moved out, etc. My sister apologized at first, but then backed off. I thought she was going to give me space, but last week she called and asked if we could meet up. She told me that she and Ben were in love and were just telling me as a courtesy before they started posting photos online. You gave up your fucking volleyball career for her. Distraught, I left her in the restaurant by herself and did not pay my portion of the bill. She later Venmo me asking me for the money. You can steal my man, the least you can do is pay for my food. 
like common courtesy. She then told my parents who called me to their house, telling me how disappointed they are in me for not supporting my sister's relationship with Ben. They brought up the fact that because she had cancer as a teenager, she never learned proper social etiquette and has a hard time meeting people. Oh my god, no! I don't buy this, in part because I've seen her socialize just fine and since we spent a good chunk of the time she was sick together. That would mean that I should have had bad social skills as well by that logic. They then told me that if I don't accept my sister and Ben's relationship, they may have to go no contact with me. I reminded them that I'm also their daughter and they should understand my point of view, but they are adamant that this is about me being jealous of her. For the record, I am not jealous of her. I'm not upset that Ben picked her over me. I'm sad about the end of the relationship and do feel betrayed. But Lord knows that I don't want to be with a cheater. What I'm sad about is the fact that my sister chose Ben over me. That she slept with Ben knowing he and I were in a long-term committed relationship and continues to be with him knowing how much it hurts me. Now, no one in my immediate family is talking to me and I'm getting messages from my aunts, uncles, and cousins telling me that I'm an asshole and a selfish bitch. So, am I an asshole? As many of you may know, my platform here on TikTok revolves around telling interesting stories I find on Reddit. Reddit is a giant discussion website with an abundance of entertainment. One of my all-time favorite Reddit stories is about someone who suspects his college roommate is drinking all of his milk. How does he prove this theory? His roommate is lactose intolerant, so he switches out his almond milk to regular milk. And 